Hey, this is Matt from TPSTool.com. I'm here to answer a question I get quite often lately, which is I've got a uh, Polaris Ranger or Sportsman, and some places I'm seeing the TPS should be set to 0.7 volts, and some places I'm seeing it should be set to 0.46. Which is right? Well, I'm going to show you. Uh, first, hey, if this helps you, please subscribe and like. Uh, share it with your friends because that really helps me a lot and that'll help YouTube short to more people. Uh, also, I recommend if you're curious, um, check out our video on how a TPS works. We take one apart and show you exactly how it works inside. And as well, if you've got a Polaris or anything, please check out our videos. We've probably got one that shows you how to set the TPS. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, so what is the proper value to set it to? 0.7 or 0.46? Uh, this is a throttle body off a Polaris Ranger 800. This one is listed at 0.7 at idle. And that is when you're using a 5-volt tool, such as the TPSTool.com Pro-Powered Meter. If you're using a 3.3-volt tool, such as the, digital, the Polaris Digital Wrench, then in that case, the proper value would be 0.46. You're putting less voltage in, so you're going to get less out. So again, with a 5-volt tool, the value is 0 0.70. With a 3.3-volt tool, the value is 0.46. Let me show you that's the case. Uh, and then we'll get into it, and we'll, we'll geek out a little bit and do the math, and I'll show you why that is the way it is. Uh, but first, let's show you that th this is really the case. Okay, so we've got a uh, throttle body here all set up. We've got it adjusted to uh, 0.7 at idle, which is proper. And I'm going to bring in a power supply here. Now this one is not super accurate, but it has big red numbers, which makes it easy to see on a video. So keep that in mind. We are going to be able to get the point across here. So first we're going to Connect our ground, share our ground here, because that's how electricity works. Now what I'm going to do is remove, this is the 5 volt supply to the TPS. You see, I can zoom in there. I'm going to take that out. Notice we're going to read zero now. The, the TPS tool is no longer providing 5 volts to the, to the TPS. Instead, I'm going to use this adjustable supply, and I'm going to provide voltage from there, and I'm going to show you the reading for both 5 volt input and 3.3 volt input. There we go. Turn the meter on. There we go. So you can see we're at 5.0 volts, and the output is 0 0.70. And again, this is not super precise, but it's going to get the point across. So when I turn this down to 3.3 volts, you should see 0.46 here. Let's see if this is really the case. So I'll go down to 3.3 volt input, and there you go, 0.46. So again, using a 3.3 volt tool such as uh, Polaris Digital Wrench, 3.3 volts in, you're going to get 0.46 out. That's proper setting. Using a 5 volt tool, go back to 5 volts. 5 volts in, and you should get 0 0.70 out. So a 5 volt tool would be such as this tpstool.com pro powered meter. So now let's geek out, and I'll show you the math, and, uh, and I'll show you why that's the case. Okay, if you just wanted the answer, you can check out now. At this point, we're going to geek out. If you want to know the geek, uh, geek reasons for why this is, then stay tuned and let's talk about it. So the, the TPS, this is a great time to watch our How a TPS Works video because we'll explain, uh, we'll take one apart and show you how it works, but this is how it works. It's basically a voltage divider, which means you've got a resistor here, a resistor here, and this is at idle. Now normally there's a wiper that would go up and down a big resistor, but we're only going to take the case for at idle because that's easier, okay? So what we've got on top is a resistor, on bottom is it resistor number two, top is resistor number one, on bottom we have ground, on top we have a voltage such as 5 volts or 3.3 volts, and this is where we take our reading. So I'm going to write TPS here, just that's where we take our TPS reading, okay? And now the math for this is your TPS reading, I'll just call it TPS, is equal to the voltage input times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. This is how the math works, okay? So let's go ahead and read our, the, the resistances on our TPS and see what happens. So I'm going to draw a new one so we can actually put our values in, okay? Okay, this is R2, R1. So let's go ahead. We're going to take our TPS. Take our meter here, put it in ohms, so we can see what's going on. First thing I'm going to read is this R2, okay? And this guy here, so we're going to read between here. That's what I'm going to read first, okay? It's going to be R2. So this is the ground, the green one. If I can do this on camera, there we go. So 
the green wire is down here in this case, okay? And now the middle wire is where we take our reading is right here. So we're going to read this guy. What do we get? We get 795 ohms, okay? So R2 is 795. Now, let's read the top one. We're going to read between the red wire here and the black wire here, okay? Let's take that reading. Stick that guy in there and this guy in here. And what do we get? Oops. If I can hold it in. 4427. Okay. Now let's check our math. How are we going to do that? We're going to read between these two and read the whole thing together, which is going to be from the green wire to the black wire. The black wire to the green wire. 5049. So for this whole thing, we're reading 5049. Now we're going to check ourselves by adding these two together and see if we end up with 5049. Alright, so let's see what we get. 4427. Whoops, I am in the wrong mode. There we go. 4427. Plus 795 is 5222. Something's going on. Why doesn't that add up? So those two together. So for R1 plus R2, we're getting 5222. However, when we read the whole thing, we get 5049. I see what's happening here. So minus 5049. Our difference is 173. What's actually happening is there's a resistor here it's always getting red. So what's happening is when we take this reading, we're actually getting this resistor plus this one. When we take this reading, we're getting this one plus this one. This is being counted twice. So this one is actually going to be half the value of our difference. So 173 divided by 2 gives 86.5. So 173 over 2 equals 86.5. Let's make the math easy. Let's call it 87. That's precise enough. So this is about 87 here. Okay, which means that these two values are not correct. These are actually this minus 87, this minus 87. Okay, so these are our real values, which would be 4427 minus 87 is going to give us 4340. And on the bottom, we've got 795. Minus 87, which is going to give us 708. Okay, and there's our reading. So all we've done is taken this resistor out. So we've got 40. My writing is horrible. 4340 and 708. Okay, so let's see if our math works out. If this works out, we should get 0.46 and 0.47. So in the case of 5 volts input, our TPS should be 5 volts times 708, okay, divided by. 4340 plus 708. Let's see what we get. This should be 0.7 volts. So let me clear that. We've got up here 5 times 708 divided by 4340 plus 708. Look at that. 0.70. 0.70. Okay. And now let's change that for 3.3. .3. So 3.3 .3 times 708 over 4340 plus 708 is, let's do our math, 3.3 .3 times 708 divided by 4340 plus 708. There you go, 0.46. So there's the math, there's the proof, okay? So, uh, you know, my readings here are kind of rough, plus or minus a little bit, but we ended up right exactly where we expect to be. So, again, there you go. There's the proof why the math works, why this is. So let me now hook this back up again, give you one more view. So you can see this really is the case. Let's go here. Again, if this helps you, if you find this interesting, please share, please like, please tell your friends. It helps me out a lot. 
makes it possible for me to keep making these kind of videos. You can buy uh, this tool, tpstool.com, obviously. Okay, we're going to go ahead with our 5 volts here. I'm just going to show you one more time. Connect our ground. Connect our 5 volts. Oops. It's harder to do through a camera than you would think. <laughs> and again, this power supply is not super precise. We'll bump it a little to get 5 volts. And you're going to be at 0.7. There you go, 0.7. And down to 3.3 volts. You're going to be at 0.46. There you go. So once more, to answer the question, which one is correct? If you're using this tool here, 0.7 is correct. All right? If you're using this tool with a 5 volt supply, 0.7 is correct. If you're using the Polaris Digital Wrench tool, then 0.46 is correct. I hope this helps. If you have questions, put, please post them in the comments below. Send me an email. Uh, let me know if you have other questions I can answer, and I'm more than happy to help you out. Thanks a lot.